Welcome to Friday Frenzy. I'm Tim Owens. I'm joined by Reese Van Haften. Yay, we've got a treat for you tonight. 16 games coming your way. That includes the game of the week between Halls and West. But first, we're going to start over at Farragut. The Admirals are 0-2 after last week's heartbreaking loss to West. Take it on unbeaten Maryville. Rebels strike first. DJ Burks takes it in untouched. That made it 7-0. Rebels with the lead. Second quarter now. Carson Jones. He's going up top. He's finding Markel Fortenberry. 44 yards on the touchdown strike. That made it 14-0. This one all Maryville tonight. They went 42-14 the final. Central still looking for its first one of the year, taking on one and one Sevier County. The Bobcats slinging it early. Ryan Bolton lobs it up to Will Sioway. The junior just wants the ball more and wraps his paws around it for the seven nothing advantage. Central relies on the run later. Frank Johnson the third. He takes it in from three yards out. A lot of threes there. Fire up the fight song. Bobcats doubled their lead. Central starting to pull away. Ryan Bolton slings it to Colby Long and he scampers into Paydirt eventually. All Central. 35 to 13. Coach Eiffel taking in the game over at Carnes. Beavers hosting Powell tonight. Picking up second quarter. Carnes deep in their own territory. Deshaun Bishop can't handle the snap. Recovers his own fumble, but it's a safety. That made it 19 7. Panthers ensuing possession. Brian Belcher taking the handoff, and he finds the end zone. That made it 26 to 7. Powell. But Bishop trying to answer, and Reese check this out. Just before the half, breaking this one off down the sideline. Wait for it here. Wait for it, Reese. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yep, that was me getting run over. <laughs> I got trucked right there. Bishop down at the three-yard line, but Powell with the goal line stand. Panthers win easily, 47-20 the final. Hope you're okay, Tim. Gatlinburg, Pittman, and Austin East both looking for their first win of the season. East down by 17. Isaiah Ligon takes the handoff and powers through for the one-yard touchdown, making an 11-point game. The Highlanders start to march down the field on the ensuing drive. Houston Bird beats the Roadrunners to the edge and carries it into the red zone. That would eventually set up this. Levi Hill using his eyes to find space. And he gets just enough to cross the goal line eventually for the touchdown. GP pulls away 44-27. Big rivalry game here. 2-0 Clinton showing off that new turf tonight. Taking on Oak Ridge. Pick it up third quarter. 7-0 Clinton with the lead. Oak Ridge getting it going. Jai Hundley with the touchdown run. Cats tie the game at 7-7. Moving to the fourth quarter. More Cats running. Brandon Hayward lines up at the Wildcat. Takes it in for the TD. Cats lead 14-7. Later in the fourth. Cats turning to Kendall Jackson. He gets down to the five-yard line. First and goal for the Cats. Next play, Kendall Jackson ages like a fine wine. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to take it in here for the touchdown. That made it 22-7, to and that's how this one would end. Big win for Oak Ridge. Well, you don't ever want to lose to Clinton, number one. I, I told him in my career, now we're 18-2 and two against Clinton, and unfortunately, the two are what I remember the most. Losing to Clinton if you're in Oak Ridge is not something that, that uh, is easy to handle. You don't want to do that. So, yeah, it's, it's relief. It's, uh, it, it's excitement for the guys. Um, you know, just, just pleased with the way they finished the game. Fulton looking to stay unbeaten, going on the road to Anderson County with Fulton leading 7 0 in the first. Anderson County is going to throw it over the middle. It eventually pops up to Kayshawn Banks of Fulton for the interception. Walker Martinez would respond in a big way, though, after that pick. An absolute dime to Braden Miller, who bobbles it but reels it in for the TD. Game tied at sevens. Next possession, Martinez throwing it all over the field, lobs it up and drops it into the breadbasket of Garrison Terry. 15-7, AC leads after the two-point conversion. Next possession, Martinez slings it out to Bryce and Val. And watch him do the rest, and he scores the tutty. Always cross the tape here, kids. Anderson County hands Fulton its first loss of the season. Coalfield looking to stay unbeaten. They've outscored their opponents 77 to 7 so far this season. Taking on Harriman. Coalfield starting off hot. Less than a minute into the game. Cole Hines connects with Landon Gallion for the Yellow Jackets. Score 7 0 later. The first Hines to Eli Roberts with the short pass. And he'll keep going, going, breaking tackles, weaving in and out, taking it all the way for the 76 yard touchdown. Coalfield up 21 0. Yellow Jackets roll 62 18. The final. Friday Frenzy just heating up. We've got so much more to come, Tim. That's right. Coming up after the break, we take you to West High School for the game of the week. But first, let's dance.